What's up everybody? Okay, so today's video is going to be a very quick and very small um, Gordon Gordon Food Service. I'm saying it right. Yeah, Gordon Food Service haul. So um, I went to Gordon Food Service because I saw that they had some Grippo's chips and I recently had them for the first time in Cleveland and I'm like super obsessed with them. Like it's probably going to be the only chip brand that I'll ever buy from like here on out. Even though they're not really like available everywhere like you can't just walk in any store and find them you know what i mean so um i went to gfs like i said to go get these and i did and i got some other stuff so over here i got two bags of the grippo's uh half pound barbecue chips um these are i think eight ounces a piece and they were seven i'm sorry 389 a bag they were 389 a bag so i got them i got two of those I got a 4.4 family pack pound bag of these Tyson chicken nuggets. Um, I don't see this size too often. My job is to get them, and then they stop getting them. Um, I, I, wish, I really don't see them too often. Uh, and then I guess I stopped buying them because the price of this type of stuff, the size of this stuff, really went up recently. So, But um, those were... Da, 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 where they at? Where they at? Uh, foot... These were $13.99. $13.99. I'm pretty sure they're cheaper anywhere else. I could be wrong. But these are Tyson. So I guess that's probably why. Unless this is a 4.4 pound. I'm not sure why it's not at 4.5 or 4. I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, those are $13.99. I um, also got this Grippo's Gourmet Spice. This is a seasoning uh, blend. I wanted to try this. Um, let's see what's in here. I didn't really see what's in here. I just picked it up because I seen it was Grippo's. Sugar, yeast, spices, MSG. Corn flour, onion powder, garlic powder. So this is all the stuff that they have in it if you guys want to check that out. Um, salty, is it salty? One teaspoon is like 45 milligrams of sodium. Yeah, so not bad. Anyway, like I said, I bought that just to try it. I'm not sure what I'll put it on yet, but I'm sure I'll figure out something. Um, over here, I got some of these Mason Dixon uh, breakfast sandwiches. I have the uh, buttermilk. I have the cheddar. The cheddar is actually in the biscuit. I had to read it. Because I'm like, where's the cheese at? And the picture didn't show no cheese. But it's in the biscuit. So the biscuit is what it's like advertising. So this is a buttermilk biscuit sandwich. And this is a cheddar biscuit sandwich. Um, there's two sandwiches in here. I thought it was four. But there's two sandwiches in here. And they were, let's see here. The cheddar was five seventy nine. So they were both five seventy nine for two sandwiches. Um, that's probably more than what I would pay for two, but I mean, if they're good, we'll see. I want to say I've seen these at Walmart before and kind of passed by them, but not sure why they caught my eye today. Um, but they did. And then I also have the, hold on guys, let me, let me oh, there we go. I also have, there's a glare. I also have these Mason Dixie, uh, biscuits. These are just plain biscuits. They're not breakfast sandwiches. Uh, scratch made with real butter. They're buttermilk biscuits. You get six in here. And then these were, oh, they were five seventy nine too. Okay, so five seventy nine for the the biscuits. So yeah, that's not too awfully bad. Okay, and then I also got this uh, bag of caramel dittos. I'm not even sure what a ditto is. I just seen the the concoction, the you know the description or whatever. It looks like like corn puffs, but like sweet. So that sounded really good. So I got a bag of those. Those were uh three ninety nine. They're also gordon choice brand or whatever that is just guess the store brand and then over here is the final thing i got a 24 pack of these grippos potato chips these are the smaller bags um they're one and a half ounces each i got 24 of these and these were 15.99 i believe yeah 15.99 but you get 24 bags so i figure i'll take one to work every day i'll have my little griffo grippos fix you know with me at work and then I'll work on those bags probably at home or whatever so i should have potato chips something to snack on you know favorably for the rest of the month if not longer um let me see the box is here yeah so it came in this box right here i took two out so you guys can see what they look like and how they came packaged um so this is the box uh 24 count one and a half bags yada 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 the website is grippos potato chips.com if you guys are interested um grippos from what i understand i guess are made or sold in cincinnati or whatever so like i said i bought them in cleveland and that's my first time trying them recently and i am hooked like the barbecue flavor especially it tastes how potato chips used to taste back in the day when i was a kid now it just tastes like they skimped on the seasoning they cut something out you know what i'm saying it's like they yeah so these are they don't skimp on the seasoning they're well coated they have a good flavor they got a nice balance of heat sweet and salt you know what i'm saying 
So yeah, these are not what I would call spicy. They have like a little tingle in the back of your back of your throat, spicy. But like, if you can't really handle spicy stuff, I think you'll be okay. But I would buy a small bag and eat a couple just to be on the safe side before you invest in a big bag like I did. Because um, I think the first bag that I bought was like this size. So like I said, now I got my Gordon. What am I saying? I got my Gordon. I got my Gripples fixed or whatever. So everything together was $71.24. So I really didn't plan on spending that much. The only thing I really came up there for was the potato chips. And... I seen these first or whatever. I didn't see the bags. I probably would have bought the bags first, but I figured, well, after these are gone, I'm, I'm going to want to, you know what I'm saying, have a bag to myself or whatever. So I just bought two of these just to kind of hold me over. So I'll see how long these last or whatever. Um, so like I said, everything together was $71.24. There was $0.34 cent tax. And I think that was on the bag that I bought. I bought one of those big, giant, like, Gordon Food Service thermal bags. It was five dollars or whatever, so it was a pretty good deal for you know what I'm saying what I got. Now I will say this: if you're not going in there for like if you're going in there for regular groceries, then you're cheaper. You're better off going to a regular grocery store because like smaller packages of stuff, regular size stuff, like regular everyday items, are a lot more expensive. Like it's not like a Sam's Club where everything is bigger. It's more catered to um, GFS is more catered to like restaurants schools you know that type of thing it's open to the public too but yeah like they have super donuts in there but they're in like a big ass box for like what 25 dollars or something like that i'm not exactly sure i'm not really into the super donuts like that like i'll buy one every once in a while i was actually surprised when i went to cleveland um there's a gas station on i think 55th and woodland it has like a ninnies in it or whatever they have single super donuts i didn't know they sold them single I actually didn't know they sold them anywhere until I seen them. So I bought one, but I wouldn't really buy like a whole bunch of them like that. So, yeah. Um, but like I said, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, this has been my Gordon Food Service Hall. Um, this place is actually located on West Avenue in Talmadge, which is technically Akron. But I guess like the borders, like the, the signs right there. Like, yeah. It's right across. If you guys go out like, uh, where's that called? Um... Oh, what is that street called? Britain and Talmadge. It's like right there in that little area. Right across from uh, Midway Plaza. Save like all them. Yeah, you'll see it. You'll see the McDonald's. It's behind the McDonald's. If you go down, uh, what's that? Talmadge. Is that Britain? Yeah, something like that. It's like, you'll see it if you go in that area. Yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to try these. I'll let you guys know, hopefully if I remember what these taste like. Um, if you guys know what dittos are, let me know. Like I said, to me, they look like some type of sweet um, corn puffs, and I'm all for that. I'm really not a popcorn fan, and these look like they're coated, so hopefully they have that crunchy glaze on the outside. My diabetic ass is going to be in trouble, but um, yeah. So yeah, um, let's see what they have in the back here. I'm trying to end this video, but I'm curious. George is curious. Uh, let me see. Distribution... Gordon Food Service, Wyoming, Wyoming Michigan. Um, it doesn't give really no really no description. Sugar. The, the first ingredient is brown sugar. So yeah, that tells you guys a lot. Uh, corn syrup, corn meal, vegetable oil. So hey, I'm here for all that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my video, and I will definitely talk to you in my next one. Peace out.